So what do you want to uh, share your experience to the audience? The four years were the most tumultuous and happy and sometimes uh, exhilarating uh, experience. I was in politics meeting people. and their invisible hand which lifted me to stardom. Now I shook hands with that hand that raised me to this position. And so it was a great experience. I, I did miss cinema, but uh, I, I was going through an experience which was uh, fantastic. Oh, sir, you have done uh, many movies we can't uh, count in our fingers. So how Vikram is different from all other movies? You have done many genres of movies. So how it is different from uh, others movie you can it share? Is, uh, I try to be different. I am like the audience. Okay. I'd like to see a kind of films. It's like how you you whet your appetite thinking about food. We, yeah. we filmmakers yeah. think about the kind of cinema we want to see and we make them. It might be the same story sometimes, yeah. it's same kind of genre, yeah. but uh, we try to do it differently. Our appetite has changed over time yeah. and our cooking style be yeah. have changed because of all the utensils that we get. Yeah. And uh, the equipments, the techniques have all improved so much. I haven't even heard of these kind of uh, machines yeah. uh, about 30 years back when we did the first Vikram. Now they are all available and uh, reachable. Sir, also you have done so many movies, there is so many genres. Like there is one movie where you have done, in one movie you have done 10 characters. So yeah. what is the mantra to go on, sir, like this? I think the applause <laughs> is the only magic that makes us work. Yeah. It's sometimes, it's, it's more <coughs> satisfying than the uh, payment you get for the film. Because you, you can spend it all away, but uh, mm -hmm. this applause, you can re uh, sort of chew it like cud. <laughs> yeah. Sir, what is the brightest point we would love to know about your the profession, sir? The brightest point? This point, yeah, of your profession we want We to always know. think that the brightest point is yet to come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we are going through it so that there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel and we are uh, hurtling at great speed towards it. Sir, also uh, there is um, the language rule which has become the a topic of discussion recently, uh, South Indian versus Hindi. How do you see this thing, sir? What is your take on it? For me, for direction's sake, mm -hmm. you can call it South India, but otherwise it is India for me. There's, for direction's sake, you can call it North India, yeah. East India and West India. We never say West Indian films. Mm. We say Mumbai films or uh, much to my chagrin, mm. <laughs> they call it Bollywood mm. <laughs> films. But we, we lose sense of direction, sense of mm. uh, community mm. with art and it should stay that way. And as far as language is concerned, that's our pride. Nobody will lose their uh, language for another. They'll be curious to know another language. That's what we did with English. Yeah. That's not our language. Yeah. Look at us. We are conversing in English. And uh, th that will be ready. But for that, I will not lose Tamil yeah. or Marathi yeah. or Bengali for that matter. Ask a Bengali, he will say the same thing. Yeah. And what do you have to take on the, the issue which is going on, the pan India thing? What do you have There's to no take? issue. It's a good thing that's happening. We, it's like you never complain about uh, South Indian petrol hmm. or North Indian petrol. It, it fuels our ve vehicles and we use it. it. It is for all of us to enjoy. Yeah, sir, so, um, you have done uh, Bollywood movies also, your entry into the Bollywood. What was the experience like, sir? What did from then to now, how do you see it, sir? It's like, uh, it's a change of scene, but it, it's the same uh, language we speak, at least the cinema people speak one language, cinema, internationally. If you're a film person, you will, uh, whether you're from New Zealand or India, doesn't matter. We at once connect with each other and exchange even techniques. We show each other's films. That's why I like the idea 
It used to happen in Delhi before, now it's shifted to Goa. But I enjoyed it when it happened in Delhi. Uh, I miss it, <laughs> those times. Not that I don't like uh, going to Goa, but uh, there's something else. There's a historic element to a Delhi Film Festival. Uh, I miss it a lot. And, uh, Sir, uh, with a star, uh, actor, director, everything in um, films, you are also a politician. How do you manage it? How do you manage it? Also in a film you were while, while giving the interview say you try to bring politics and kind of perception in films also. Can you also explain? Uh, you are a journalist. Do you also do politics? How do you do it? How do you even vote? Mm -hmm. And then vote for the wrong person sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we all, <laughs> we all do it. We must do it. I think mm -hmm. politics is something uh, we shouldn't leave to somebody else. It's a democracy. Yeah. All of us should play an important part. You take care of it like your bank account. Mm -hmm. How you keep checking your bank account, mm -hmm. you must check your politics. Mm -hmm. Every one of us. Mm -hmm. And also sing the national anthem, yeah. which may not be in your language. In my case, it's not my language, mm -hmm. but I sing it with pride. Yeah. The diversity mm -hmm. and the unity should be maintained. Mm -hmm. it never was a full country. It became a full country. It was a dream. We made it happen. And we cannot let anything destroy it. Sir, also let's come to the movie Vikram. Sir, uh, any good experience Any ex while shooting the movie? You had any uh, experience that you want to share with the audience, sir? Uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it was like uh, going through my old films album. Yeah. It's a very strange thing. Mm -hmm. Usually a director comes and explains a scene mm -hmm. and he says, have you seen uh, Ganga Jumna? Mm -hmm. Have you seen uh, Dilip Saab's scene with a gun when he realizes mm -hmm. what he has in his hand is a gun? Mm -hmm. uh, he, he has an expression in his face. Mm -hmm. That kind, that's how usually mm -hmm. uh, they say. Yeah. Now this director is a fan of mine. So he'll say, I, I don't know whether you remember the film Satya where in scene number so and so you would do this. I'd say, I don't. And then he'll repeat it verbatim yeah. and say, that's what I want in this scene, that kind of. So it, I said, have I been feeding the audience old food all this time because you're quoting from my own films? So tell me something about Ryan Gosling or somebody like that. Then he would say, I, I can't think of those things. Uh, I only come up with you as an exemplary gracia. It, it was, it was uh, all at one time, it was gratifying and confusing for me. But uh, it was a very interesting experience. I think I've come to an age where people remember all the mistakes yeah. I've done, and sometimes the good ones also. So you are a superstar, You're, all the movies are hit. Uh, in the box office. What are your expectations from this movie, sir? What are you expecting? I want more people to see it. That's why we spent so much on the publicity, mm -hmm. that it's reached all over India. It's possible now. Mm -hmm. We would love to take it to China also, if possible. That's the kind of uh, expansion I want for Indian films. Mm -hmm. Not just my film, yeah. for every Indian film. That's how Hollywood grew to its size. Also, my last question is, um, as a politician, uh, so many things are going in the country. How do you see the politica political situation of the country? We must be involved, as I said in the beginning. Politics affects us. Mm -hmm. We should affect it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we have no, n nobody to complain to except mm -hmm. us. And so today also uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited your uh, state, Chennai. He is in Chennai right now, sir. Yeah, maybe exchange places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Delhi. Uh, our PM is in uh, Tamil Nadu.